Hello there. My name is Kenneth Long. I attend Cleveland Chiropractic College in Kansas City, and I am a Doctor of Chiropractic student in Tri-8, and I am here to tell you about FMS and its relationship to injury prediction. Now, FMS, Functional Movement Screen, is a clinical uh, diagnosis tool to help clinicians understand whether or not their patients have abnormalities in their movements. So FMS is a physiological and performance-based test that recognizes the dysfunctional movements by observing the patient's neuromuscular defects. And the way that they know it is by comparing them to standardized functional movements, such as a deep squat or a, uh, a hurdle step over test. Now, when they're doing that, they are observing the movements and the motor control and the proficiency of the patients and looking for any of the limitations in the movements and the deficiencies and finding uh, correlations to an outcome or pardon, forming correlations to an outcome. And now the objective of this presentation was to look for uh, reviews uh, published uh, of forms of literature to form an umbrella review to find relationships between FMS and subsequent injuries or injury prediction, followed by FMS relationship to injury prevention. Now, looking here, we decided to use the Joanna Briggs Institute Umbrella Critical Appraisal Checklist for systemic reviews and uh, research syntheses for methodology quality and bias risk assessments. And so we decided to use it uh, for articles found in PubMed, Sports Discus, Sinal, and Google Scholar dating back from now to 2011. And we use the search terms involving FMS, uh, functional movement screen, injury, injury prevention, and injury pre prediction uh, with articles uh, that we have uh, selected based upon the abstracts and the titles. And so, as you can see, we have screened for 136 titles, evaluated 14 for eligibility, and then we further narrow it down to 10 full articles uh, for reviews uh, for the re relevance, and further down to seven, which we have included in this presentation. And they date back to as early as 2014 to as late as 2019. In one review, we found that FMS uh, score of 14 or less of out of 21 uh, was associated with subsequent injuries. And another review uh, stated odds of an injury occurring were multiplied by 2.74 with FMS score of 14 or less. Now, Bonazza uh, had a uh, intra-class coefficient of intra-rater reliability of 0.81 and inter-rater reliability of 0.81 as well, which supports uh, the score of 14 or less. However, uh, Moran found the study with military personnel that uh, with strong evidence, uh, he found the association between FMS score and subse subsequent injury to be small. So indicating that there was uh, little support. And there was a uh, another uh, meta-analysis by Doro who found that FMS uh, has shown to be more specific, uh, but with positive predictive value of 42.8% and negative predictive value of 72.5%. Now, these are in clearly indicating that uh, predictability uh, with FMS is very uh, low. And Moran, he had found that uh, Bonazza did not uh, have sufficient in information uh, because he had uh, pulled information, um, the reviews with less diverse populations, such as focusing primarily on men and having uh, similar uh, injury definitions, uh, which cause a heterogeneous uh, distribution uh, for the definition of injury. Now, FMS has shown to be a good uh, tool for us to diagnose, diagnose our patients for the abnormalities in the movements. However, it does not show that it is going to be a good predictability uh, tool to know whether or not they're going to be at risk for further injuries. Thus, we cannot use it to help them prevent injuries.
This has been my presentation on the relationship between functional movement screen and injury prediction. My name is Kenneth Thong, and I thank you for your time. Have a good day.